fish. It's the 30th of March, 2017. We're back here at NASA. The reason we visit NASA so frequently is because it is a virtual endless supply of proof of the underlying darkness and deception that covers this earth that if you don't see and understand and then turn to look at the light the polar opposite of this darkness and seek it with your heart and seek it with your soul then I don't know what you're gonna be dealing with when this stuff starts coming upon the earth but it's coming official satellite image this is supposedly for the ground water used to grow internationally traded food and it happens to be you know 11 percent NASA the whole shebang it's basically satellite that tells you how much groundwater there is apparently just like all the rest of NASA's gadgets and their little you know toys you can play with online that show you the little spectrometers and their little sohos and it's all a lie. Look into it. That's what I'm showing you right now. I'm showing you that this is a gimmick. It's you're being hoodwinked by these people and they're keeping you from God. That's what they're doing. And it's not just that they doctor the images. If that were the case, don't you think you'd have little cutesy things in like, you know, Kilroy was here or little bunny rabbits or someone sneaking their name in there? Or little boobies or little penises and stuff like that. No, 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 no. That's not we, what we find with NASA's images. No, no. We find horrifying, terrifying, ghoulish, evil things without even touching this image. I'm sure you can see this fella here. I mean, right away I saw this guy. And there's another one that overlays him. And to do that on like a Photoshop or something, you're talking, I don't know, maybe it isn't a ton of work, but seems like it's a lot of work to me. There's a skull underlying this demonic figure that you can see clearly when you're back at a distance. And he starts to blend with another skull as you come in on them, which is just you know the mind what mind thinks of that to insert that in a supposed satellite image that's supposed to help humankind conserve water and, and then right here you do, all you have to do is follow these white lines around I mean this this image here is so loaded with stuff we couldn't begin to go over all of it I'm serious it'd be like a two-hour video just this is not an accident that does not occur in nature by accident and if you think it does I think you need to I don't know man I'm not here to insult anybody I'm here to show you what they're showing us in the dark side of what really really envelopes this earth that's why we can never seem to get our act together as as a race it's, and it's never gonna happen because we're infested with this darkness you have to turn to the light that's your only hope you see this serpent right here before I put on his lines I mean look at that it's as plain as day you know but they just look at you like eh, you know these are just stupid people it's just a stupid sheep. I mean, my goodness, that is like, that's pretty wild, man. You can't deny. And all these things in here are just filled with death and skulls and little lambs, little dead lambs. You think I'm messing around. You know, this stuff is here. And you got to ask yourself, well, why is it there? And who's putting it there? Why are they putting dead sheep all over the place? This is the work of the principalities and powers and dark spirits in high places. 
They run the flesh. We're the sheep. We're the ones that go in for the slaughter. And they feed on us. I'd love to tell you the whole story, and maybe I will. I keep recommending you to Jonathan Kleck. He has laid out the whole story. Maybe I'll try it someday. It's so important that you know these things, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just, I'm just trying to point to you that you live in an evil world, and everybody knows that they live in an evil world, basically. But we think that our intellect and, and men will, you know, get us out of it and finally get a peace and, you know, serenity and everybody gets along. It cannot happen. I'm not a pessimist. I'm just telling you like it is. It will never, ever happen. But it can happen in you. You can be in this world but not of it don't let it control you seek christ i hope you see i truly truly hope that you see peace and grace many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 